Although government is preparing to effect a new levy on mobile commerce transactions, which involves the sending and receiving of cash via the telecom networks, concern remains over regulation around the service. There are so many uh, developments within the sector that need to be mentioned and be protected uh, within the law. This is a new industry. Uh, of course, it was good that we allowed it a few uh, months to, to, to run without a law so that we can uh, know which direction it takes. Finance Minister Maria Chiwanuka has promised that in the coming financial year, an amendment on the Finance Act will be pursued to cover mobile commerce, a product that holds over 13 trillion shillings in annual transactions, according to figures from the Uganda Communications Commission. Being a new industry, it's revolutionizing the whole sector. Uh, money transfers, a lot of business are coming up. Uh, it, it, it is likely to change the whole spectrum of money transfer business. A cross-section of conventional banking service providers are equally keen on the enactment of a law that will govern cash movement supported through the mobile phone. Therefore, if people are using other means to transfer money and so on, they need to be brought under the regime of regulation so that everybody knows what to do, so that people don't run the risk of losing their money or, and they have no recourse. Relatedly, audit experts are also cautioning that with broad common borders aimed at promoting movement of goods and people, money laundering remains the single largest threat to regional business, thus the need for this new legislation. We have had scams of mobile money, mobile money. and uh, if you look closely, you don't know which service sector, uh, whether it's a financial regulation or the UCC, the telecom regulation that's supposed to look at the mobile money. UCC figures place annual individual transactions at 290 million, with the amount therein pegged at 13.9 trillion, doubling transactions by commercial banks over the same period. Reina Ojin, NTV Business.